from all that viewers hate to fans. This tutorial is on practical approaches for playing audio files in PD. Not strictly synthesis I know, but rich nonetheless, and really really useful. To play an audio file, the first thing we need is a place to store it. For this we use the array object, from the cut menu. Give it a unique name, like my sample or something like that. Now, annoyingly, to actually load the file, we need a whole other object, the sound filer. We can send this object a message that tells it to load a particular audio file into a particular array. We therefore tell it that we would like it to use the array we just made, my sample. Note that this will also resize the whole array to fit our particular audio file length. Right, to get the actual path to our file we can use the open panel object which allows us to browse the computer. Let's add a print to see what the output looks like. Great, we can see the file is in our array. We also see that sound filer has outputted a number. This is the length of the sample in samples. We will need this information in later tutorials. Okay, so how do we actually play the bloody thing? The simplest way to do this is with a tap play object. This object needs to know which array to read from, so give it the array name as an argument. Brilliant. This is a clip from the late DJ Rashad's Double Cup album. Note that the object gives us a trigger out of the right outlet. We can actually use this for simple looping, although this is not the best way of doing this particularly. One more thing here, it can be useful to actually spell out the sample path in a message so that we don't have to go browsing every time. Note that just putting the file name in will not work unless you have the audio file in the same folder as your patch. You would therefore need to specify the full path to the sample. This makes it easy to switch the sample dynamically though. That's it for this tutorial. More on pitch changes in the next one. After that we will make a neat module and then look at making the polyphonic version.